would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and pay our respects to the elders past and present. Welcome to our special gold assembly. Please say good morning to your teachers and guests. Please stand quietly and join us in listening to our national anthem. quietly. Don't forget to use your six L's. The secret teacher is watching and has been watching all week. Mr. Thomas, would you please address our week seven gold assembly and hand out our bronze and silver awards. Thank you, Grace. Good morning, boys and girls. That was absolutely amazing from down at Infants. Let's try our stage two and stage three classes. Good morning, boys and girls. We've got a great little echo going. Boys and girls, very, very busy day today, but a really, really incredible day to have. We've got our Gold Assembly happening today, and I look forward to seeing people being presented with their awards very shortly. And I've got some here to catch up on as well. But first, I have a few little things I'd like to run through very quickly. Thursday, we had a special day, Jeans for Jeans Day. And Miss Vassal did a little bit of fundraising and you guys did a little bit of fundraising to support Jeans for Jeans Day. And this goes to supporting families of children, just like yourselves, who have genetic disorders or birth defects. And that affects almost one in 20 children, which is a huge amount. And the fundraising goes to supporting research to make a difference and give these families hope. And it's something that is very close to us as we have a fellow teacher who is receiving some of this support now. Um, and I'm very, very delighted to say that we were able to raise a total of would you believe it? Probably the most we've raised in a long time. $530. That is absolutely incredible. So I think we all deserve, and Miss Vassal, a big Central 7. Ready? Yeah. 
Fantastic boys and girls and well done. Absolutely incredible to see. Now the next thing from me is something that is also very, very special. Talia Williams, would you like to make your way over to me and I have a very special principals award. Now it's not very often that we have a student complete a full multi-lit program. But Talia has been able to do it with incredible success and it's something to be very, very proud of. So congratulations, an incredibly job that you have completed, well done. And I've got a special principal's award here for you and a special little bag that I might get Abby to take over for you. Now, just before she disappears, this is an incredible effort, boys and girls. Can we give her a Central 7? Well done, sweaty. If you make your way over there, Erica might grab a little photo of you. Alrighty, moving on, boys and girls. Bronze certificates. It's great to see people still bringing in their rainbow readers and working towards their bronzes. We're gonna start with 6T. Nadia Wilkins, can you come forward, please? Elliot Rogers. Brooke Catamol. Coco Bailey. At the same time, from 4-5-S, we've got Cohen Copas. Talia Williams. Savannah Draj. Lubna Cook. From 3-4-J, Taisha Williams. Sasha Massacre. Jason McIntosh. At the same time, from 2-3-H, we've got Peyton Bennell. Jared Camilleri. Nikita Cuff. Ashley Devlin. Layla Gross. Also from 2-3-H, we have Scarlett Hicks. Carl Nankivis. And Eli Robbins. Moving on to 1-2-P, we've got Irene Matthews. Jarrah Hooker. Michelle Watson. Braden Devlin.
Jessica Ettrich, Caden Monk, From K1Z, we've got Mary Jane Bunnell. Skylar Keenan. Dylan Nankovis. Kira Quayle. Lexi Robins. And Darcy Shep. Boys and girls, that concludes our bronze awardees for our whole school. It's absolutely incredible to see the sheer number coming through now. It's great. But I think they all deserve a big central seven. Are you ready? <laughs> Fabulous and well done, bronze awardees. Moving on to silver from 6T, I've got Husna Goss. From 45S, Charlotte McIntosh. From 2-3-H, I've got Halagos. And from 3-4-J, I also have Sabagos. Again, boys and girls, great achievement to have your silver award presented to you. Let's give them a big central seven. Well done, boys and girls. That's about all from me. It is gonna be quite a long assembly, but please be mindful the secret teacher is watching and I will be too. So please make sure that you're paying attention and following the six L's, listening to our captains. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Miss Northey, would you please come forward to hand out our bounce back awards and talk about our week eight focus? Thank you, Crawford. Okay, girls and boys, um, our awardees for last week's, or this week's letter, which was E, everybody has unhappy times sometimes, not just me. So these brave people who bounced back in some awesome way through the week. Um, the awards go to Scarlett Bates, Hayley Smith, Imogen Stokes, Madison Butcher, Katie Learmonth, Jacob Hicks, Jackson Learmont, Lucas Butcher from last week. He was away last week. So Lucas's award is for the C letter, concentrating on the things that are still good even when things go wrong. And that sounds like Lucas Butcher to me. Congratulations, everybody. Girls and boys, our letter for next week. We're up to the word back. So it's the letter B on the word back. And it stands for... Can you hold that around? 
Thank you. It stands for blame fairly. So if something goes wrong, a mishap happens, ask before you blame somebody, ask yourself, what part of that was due to me? How much of it was due to somebody else? Or was it just bad luck? That's one side of it. The other side of it is if, you, if something goes wrong, yes, you may be responsible for it and we do have to take responsibility for our, for our actions, but that's fine. It's really important to think positively and not say, oh, okay, it was all my fault, I'm silly, I'm stupid, I can't do anything right. Don't think like that. Use language like, okay, I made, a, I made a bad choice. But everybody makes bad choices sometimes. We all do as we go through our life. I made a bad choice, but I've learnt from it. And I'll think more carefully next time. So the letter B, blame fairly. Okay. All right, that's it for our bounce back talk. Thank you, Miss Northy, and well done, Bounce Back Awardees. Mr Perkins, could you please come forward to hand out the Rainbow Reading Awards? Tommy King, Heroes of the Holocaust. Harrison Smith, The Pet War. Charlotte King, Solo Bush Babies. Rhiannon in KV, The Best Day Ever. Scarlet in KV, Ocean Lullaby. That's it, guys. Please give these five a big clap. Thank you, Mr Perkins, and well done, Rainbow Readers. Mrs Podden and Miss Northy, could you please come forward to hand out our Central Dance Competition Awardees? Thank you, Crawford. Okay, girls and boys and people at home, you may remember we, when we heard the good news that we'd be all able to come back to school after such a long time of being isolated at home from our friends and our teachers and our colleagues, um, Mr. Thomas and I decided to do something really, really positive and fun for the children for, um, to celebrate us all being back together and also to have something to look forward to. Because we always have to look forward to the good times, don't we? Bad times always go away and our COVID time is on the way out. So it's such a time to celebrate. So with that, I'm going to just thank all our students who participated in the dance competition, the See you later, lockdown virtual dance competition. So those students videoed themselves doing a dance at home and they uploaded it to Dojo. And last week, um, I had we had four judges sit together after school and view all the videos and made judgments about winners. 
And um, I'd also like to thank those judges. So Chris, who was our SLSO representative, thank you, Chris, wherever you are. <laughs> thank you for your time. They were there, guys, for over an hour and a half after school. All right, so I'm really grateful for that. Miss Leona, who's not here today, she was our Aboriginal um, student representative or for our Aboriginal students. And Mrs Nichols from the preschool, who couldn't be here today because she is down in the preschool. And also the beautiful Mrs Podner, who helped the judges. Um, she's very good at coordinating things like that. And um, I just want to say that we are really, really going to miss not seeing Mrs Podner involved in those things. So, um, anyway, and let's, Nolly. pardon? And Nolly. Oh, yes. Oh, our, we did have a community representative, Mrs. Nolene Ratcliffe, who's the mother of three of our students that attended here, Lewis, Sarah, and um, Stuart Williams. Really happy to say that Stuart is now studying to be a pharmacist in Adelaide. Sarah is about to go off to Wollongong to become a social worker. So there you go. All right, can these students please come up and everybody who participated will be getting a certificate. So if you were, if you participated, can you just be ready to come up? So Bentley Singleton. Okay. Samira Bugme. Oh, can you hold it? Harlagos. Sandra Caruth. Xander Nunn. Jane Riddle. Kevin Shillingsworth. Hayley Smith. Lily Stokes. Imogen Stokes. Lani But oh, we'll just wait for stage one to clear. And then I'll announce the stage two participants. Okay, stage two students could get ready to come up when the coast is clear. Lani Butler, Sabagos, Darcy Hoskin, Mackenzie Stokes. Stage two. And could these stage three participants get ready to come up when the coast is clear? Dakota Edwards. Miss Reynolds was a participant. <laughs> I please approach the bench, Miss Reynolds. And also, we might have to do have a representative for this entry because it was a rather large one. Class 6T, well done for participating with your group Woo! dance. So could we have a, um, a representative from 6T student? Isabel, Lily, anybody? She's gonna take it, all right, that's a good idea. <laughs> all right, yeah guys, it was just so wonderful to see it's a very difficult thing for some people to stand up and expose themselves in front of everybody performing. It's not an easy thing to do. So well done to those students for being brave and bouncing back. Um, could I please now call Mrs Podner to announce the winners of the See You Later Lockdown Dance Competition. Okay, beautiful 6Ls, 3, 4 day, gorgeous. Um, I am stoked to present these awards that afternoon. Every now and then in the year you get a day that's just magical and though, watching those dancers was a bit magical. I think the five judges, we laughed and we cried, we got goosebumps. Um, it was just the most beautiful afternoon and I hope 
between now and the end of the year, you get to see the kids that did those because some were um, just amazing, just incredible kids. Um, and I am super proud to announce our decisions for the awards. So the first one was for best contemporary freestyle dance and we chose Hayley Smith. Hayley, we were amazed at, for someone who hasn't had um, dance training except for mine at school. You had so much grace, so much feeling, emotion. It was just beautiful. Okay, my second one was for best traditional cultural dance and we chose Sandra Carruth. And Sandra, I hope you show 1-2-P your dance because you were just a shining light in that dance, showing your culture. Gorgeous. Now, we had a category called Best Hip Hop and we didn't have any entries into that category. So we actually decided to create a, a category with um, the most entries, which was lip syncing. We had, I can't remember Miss Northern, maybe six or seven students who lip synced to dance. So we made our own category called lip syncing and we awarded that to Kevin Shillingsworth. Even though it was country western, we still gave it to you, Kev. Okay, now our award for best choreography. So we looked at this as dance moves that didn't exist before, that somebody put together and staying in time with those dance moves. And we could not go past Mackenzie, Imogen and Lily for best choreography. Well done, girls. Beautiful. And that was the one that I got teary at. I'm not sure if any, anybody else did, but true colours and just stunning. Beautiful. Okay, for best costume, there was a standout winner and it was Darcy Hoskin who did a glow-in-the-dark costume, which was just awesome. Well done, Darcy. And for best novelty dance, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Xander Nunn and Kalai Reynolds, who did a Mario dance complete with costumes. And our favourite bit was when you made a mistake, Kalai, and Xander was like, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> She did. She went freestyle and he didn't like it very much. But that is another dance that all classes should find and watch. Perfect. And we had a few nominations in the best partner group dance. However, there was a group that kind of put a little bit more heart and soul into it. And we thought that the fact that you've gone out of your comfort zone and got everybody up, we would like to award to 6T. So, William, I'm going to ask you to come up because you were the front runner in that dance the whole time. And, William, you should be coming up. You were right in the middle. <laughs> he was kind of the star. <laughs> All right, what a gorgeous way to um, come out of lockdown and celebrate our beautiful Bounce Back program about being resilient and giving things a go and all of you deserve the credit you've just got. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle.
Mrs. Podner and Miss Norby and our Century Dance Groovers. Mr. Hoskin, could you please come forward and hand out our Week 8 class awards? Thanks, Prof. All right, boys and girls, we'll start up with 6T, Roshanna Terry, for showing great resilience and encouraging others to do the same. And we have Geordie Hicks for doing all set tasks and being engaged engaged with classroom discussions. Well done, Geordie. All right, 4-5-S, Olivia Coffey for achieving goals in mathematics, great work. And Anton Camilleri for being a committed learner and showing resilience. Uh, 3-4-J, Rowan, for a great week of learning. Come on, Row. Connor Ford, for showing how inclusive Broken Hill Public School is. Great stuff, Connor. And I've got Sasha Mersiker is here. I think this one's from last week. Sasha, away today. Yep. Well done, boys. Okay, Stel Riddington from 23H for standing strong and showing resilience. And Charlotte King for always working hard across all key learning areas. And she also has this little smile that she works with as well. Beautiful little smile. Thanks, girls. 1-2-P, we've got Isla Souden for quietly getting on with her work. And Charlotte Coffey for being a mature role model. Well done, girls. Oh, K1Z, Mason Hooper for his perseverance and determination when faced with learning challenges. Determination, Mace, I like that word. Kaylin Emmett, K1Z, for her positive attitude and super effort in her learning tasks. Well done. Beautiful manners. And we'll finish up with KV. I've got Lilith Knott for being a team player when working in literacy groups. And Zayden Kumar for showing persistence and a great attitude when writing. Well done, Zayden. He looks pretty happy to be getting that award as well. Beautiful job, everybody. Can we give him a big round of applause? Sit up nice and tall, show your best six L's. And we on with you now. Yeah. All right, have fun. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Hoskins and well done students. Ms. Podner, could you please come forward and to hand out the gold awards? Oh, I am lucky today, but what I think I'll do is just see how you are travelling. 4, 5, S, stand up for me. Do a turn. Nobody asleep? Good, sit down. 6, T, your turn, stand up. Twist. Beautiful, have a seat. 3, 4, J, stand up. Shake it in the air like you just don't care. Beautiful, sit down. 2, 3, H, stand up. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. You can do a turn. Have a seat. Infant, stand up for me. Try to touch the sky. Reach up high, turn around. Oh, Lincoln, are you asleep? Oh, I think Lincoln's asleep. No, he's not. He's up. And have a seat. Just to give you a little break because we've got a little bit to go. All right, I am so excited again. Gold. 90 days of awesome central behaviour and doing a rainbow reading at home as well. So I will start with the beautiful 1-2-P crew, Mariah Benton. 
Charlotte Coffey. Gracie Daniels. Lara Gilby. Lucy Hoskin. Paisley, can you walk up with Lucy for me, gorgeous girl? Just wait for Lucy. Go get your friend. And they can come together, they'll love that. Yeah. Sometimes you need your bestie. All right, Sandra Curry. Good girl, Lucy. Curtis Lola. Huda McIntosh. Scarlett Moronchik. Isla Paris Sowden. And Imogen Stokes. And I'll move on to gorgeous K1Z. It's a big group, Erica. And Curtis, thanks for representing for the blokes, buddy. You're the only boy there. <laughs> Okay, Samira Buckme. Steel Dunn. Kaylin Emmett. Charlie Ford. Alexander Hatsey. Tyson Hawk, Sienna Honeyman, Mason Hooper, Lincoln Mins, Conan Moronchik, Xander Nunn, uh, Conan come back, you forgot Erica in your picture, Jane Riddle, Noah Robinson. Princess Ali Sheridan. Bentley, who's away, so I'll put that aside. And Hayley Smith. You'll notice too, Mr. Thomas, these are looking a bit, a bit flash. We've got new gold certificates there. I like them. Is that Gina? Oh, we have to thank Gina. They look fantastic. Scarlet Bates. Isaac Johnson. Ruby Clark. Oh, Scarlet, come back for your photo, gorgeous. Lincoln Gilbert. Lilith Knott. Zayden Kuma.
Liam McLaughlin. Ariel Orr. Hunter Paturis. Hunter, wait, you need to get your badge, it's gorgeous. Ollie Robinson. Portland Rush. Harris Simmons. And Taylor and Tracy. All right, guys, can you give the Infants Gold Awardees a big clap for me? Move on to our primary kids. Isabel Coffey. Grace Craniford. Peyton Doyle. Declan Hanford. Taylor Hoskins. Emil Rusko. Harrison Smith. from 45S, Lucas Butchacoma, <laughs> Olivia Coffey, Dakota Edwards, Piper Francis, Aiden Honeyman's away, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Tatum Khan. Thomas King. Ella Lee. Angel McIntosh. Ryder Sanderson. And Caden Sheridan. And it's nice to see so many kids running for captain today actually get up and get that gold certificate because that's really important that they are working towards our school goals. Okay, stage two, Lani Butler. Scarlett Francis. Subagos, Darcy Hoskin, Eva Robotham, Kaziah Hoho, K. 
Katie Limon. You like laces away? Yeah. Eli Mintz. Rohan Pillai. Kenzie Stokes and Isabel Summers. Daniel Johnson, Charlotte King, Andrew Meredith, Charlotte, just wait here, Donald, till that group's finished. Then we'll swap here. Ardle Purdy. Charlotte Sice, Sophia Slater, Lily Stokes, and Savannah Summers. Alright, can I have a huge clap for all the gold people, please? And just quickly, right, I'm just going to check my facts, but is it a special birthday in your house? Yes, I just want to say happy birthday to Leona, who's homesick, but it is her birthday, so on the Zoom assembly she'll still get shamed. Thank you, Ms. Podner, and well done, Gold Awardees. Ms. McClure, could you please come forward and introduce our prospective captains for 2022? That's better. Okay, boys and girls. You've done very well this afternoon, so let's see if we can keep going for just a little bit longer. All right, I have the wonderful job today of uh, announcing to you the, our pros prospective captains for 2022. So your job as the audience is to listen carefully. They're going to present to you a speech which you need to consider as well as whether you think they're going to be a suitable representative to our school. And we've got some wonderful, wonderful representatives here. So your job is to show them respect, to listen to them, listen carefully and think about who you think might be a suitable person to have in that role. So we'll start first of all with Margaret. First off. Cab off the rank, Margaret. Come on.
Hi, my name is Margaret. How Brockinji girl who has been at Central and Kindergarten and who loves to help and to be kind to others and who's willing to help if those that are hurt. Another reason why I'm going for captain because of my two loving carers Stacy and Clinton they give me so much confidence just to be up here also they give me so much love and care and these are the reasons why I should be leading the school. I am kind, love and loving and love to help everyone and the other reason why I should be Captain is I have been dreaming of being a school captain ever since kindergarten. That's why I want to lead want to be a leader. Well Margaret for two thousand twenty one. Thank you, Margaret. Our next person is Angel McIntosh. Hi, my name is Angel. Angel. Here are my three reasons I feel I feel I would be a great school captain. First reason, I should be captain is a little bit about myself. I have a big family. I have six brothers and three sisters, and I have two nephews. Also, these are my hobbies. I like to play Fortnite and Minecraft with my friends, and I like to paint pictures with my mum. Second reason I should be school captain is I have represented the school in AFL, netball, basketball, and soccer, and I play AFL outside of school. Central and I represented the school in dance, divas and choir. Third reason I should be school captain is that I will help you if you need any help and I will play with you if you're lonely. And you probably do not know this but, but my twin sister is also going for school captain. So everyone these are my three reasons why I feel you should vote one as your school captain. Thank you, Angel. Our next candidate, Sharla McIntosh. McIntosh. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shyla. These are three reasons why I feel 
I would be a great school captain. First reason, I went in school events such as dance, sports, the drama, a desert, and choir. Second, I'm kind, nice, I always smile, I will help you, and I will play with you, and I will be your friend. Third reason, I play sports outside of school. I have lots of friends, and my hobbies are playing Fortnite, Minecraft, Apex, and Warzone. Vote me for 2022. Thank you, Shyla. Ella Lee. Good morning, teachers, students, and special guests of Central. My name is Ella Lee, and I am running for school captain 2022. I believe I'm a respected student at Central and always strive to do my best at school and the community representing myself and my school. I will always encourage my peers to succeed in all areas. I have represented my school in many activities such as various sports, choir, a Stedford, divas, band, and much more. And it was my honor to do so. I am currently the house captain of Thorpe and it's been a pleasure leading my team and leading my team and leading a positive example if I am elected as school captain, I promise to do my best and always encourage my peers and support them in the best way I can. I will always try to make my school a safe and happy place for not only my peers, but also my teachers. So please vote me as your captain for 2022, Ella Lee, and good luck to the other candidates. And for our last girl candidate, Piper Francis. Hey people, most of you know me. For those who don't, you will when I'm captain. Why? Because it's my absolute mission to make this school better, more fun and more enjoyable. As your captain, I promise you that. This year was awful, you must agree. So let's make next year awesome. Let's make it fun. We could, we could have a come to school just as a teacher day. Pick any teacher at Audit Central and dress up, but please, oh please, do not come dressed in Mr. Clo Mr. Jones' Queen of Hearts costume. <laughs> Mr. Jones, I still have nightmares about that, you know. <laughs> School should be fun, and we can make that happen. If you have a great idea, come see me. Let's get creative. Together, you and me will make next year awesome. All you have to do is vote Piper for captain, and leave the rest to me. Thank you, Piper. All right, and for our male candidates, Anton Camilleri. Hi, my name is Anton Camilleri and I am running for school captain 2022. These are the reasons why you should vote for me. One, if you are hurt or in need, I can help. Two, I've always tried my best in all sport carnivals and gala days so, and will support all of you at these events in the future. Three, I've been at this school for three years. I'm always proud to wear the colours black and white. Do you want to hear a joke? Yes. What do you call Elon Musk crossed with an elephant? Elon Tusk. Thank you for listening I, and good luck to the other candidates. Thank you, Anton. And our next candidate, Cohen Copas. Hello. 
my name is Colin and I'm running for school captain 2022. I'm going to say a short speech and tell you what I would do for the school. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours and take what's ours. Thank you for listening to that. Now I will tell you what I'll do for the school. I will get rid of the naughty bullies. I'll make sure you're happy and tell funny jokes like this one. What's green and smells like red paint? Green paint. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Cohen. And next we have Aidan Riddington. Hi, my name is Aidan and I'm going for school captain 2022. Here's some reasons why you should vote me as your captain. I will attend the Swiveland Athletics Carnival like ha as I have every year. I will try my hardest in gala days. I'm a great friend because I'll help you in the playground and include you in games. I can tell jokes too. Here, what do cows give after earthquakes? Milkshakes. <laughs> Overall, I'm responsible and I think you should vote me to be your captain. Good luck other candidates. Vote one Aiden. Thank you. Thank you, Aiden. And finally, Tommy King. I'm Thomas King, but you can call me Tom for short. I'm here today to prove that I'm the best candidate for school captain for 2022. As Dwayne The Rock Johnson once said, success isn't about greatness. It's about consistent hard work that gains success. Greatness will come. I have that, that <laughs> I have that consistency for success. For example, I've achieved, I've achieved high marks in all areas of work. I've also represented the school as a member of the SRC in many events, outside and inside the school. For example, I've re represented the school on most sporting events and spelling bees that are available. Now that I've shown that I have, consi uh, have that consistency, I can also, wait. <laughs> I will continue to show this consistency throughout my last year of school. And in the words of Rick Astley, I'll never give you up, I'll never let you down, I'll never run around and desert you, I'll never say goodbye, wait. <laughs> I never tell a lie and hurt you. I'm never going to say goodbye and make you cry. Vote, voting for me is the best option. Okay, thank you boys and girls. Now you've had a chance to hear our speeches from our prospective captains for next year. Now your job, not today, but you do need to start thinking about who you think the best representatives will be for our leadership team for 2022. All right, I will pass you on now to Abby. Yep. All right, thank you boys and girls. Thank you, Ms. McClure and good luck to our prospective captains for 2022. It's now time for the secret teachers to reveal themselves to the assembly. Yes, it is me. Show me your best seating. Best six L's if you can. I can change my mind. Boys and girls, you've done amazing. I am a secret teacher. I've been going around classrooms here and there. But to get class of the week, you need to do all these things. To always be respectful to do your learn rules, to be on your six L's all of the time, 
Thank you, Bella. And that involves listening to your class teachers as well as some teachers that are not your class teachers. And I don't know about you, if you were to look into your own classes, you've had some good days, haven't you? But there are also some days that we need to improve. And so, unfortunately, this week, there is no class of the week. Unfortunately, we did not meet that standard. So from now on, from today, I'd like to see a standout class with their teacher or not their teacher so that the next secret teacher can select the standout class of the week. I'm sorry to say, but let's work harder now and let's show how great Central is. Show me how you can be on your best of selves, starting from right now, to be on your learn rules at all times. So sorry, teachers, but that's my message. Thank you, Mr. Kaya. Would you please stand quietly and listen to our school song? Thank you to those who shared our assembly with us today. We greatly appreciate your company and support. Boys and girls, please show your best six L's and wait quietly for Miss Reynolds to dismiss the assembly. for you to be giving me your attention. 6T, that means you too. Okay, I just wanted to say a quick congratulations to all the year fives that took a lot of confidence to come up here and to give their speech to the whole school. And I think you did an amazing job, everyone. Can we please all wait for our classroom teachers to go back to class? All right, thank you everyone.